This call is now being recorded. Hello. Hello, Choo Choo. How are you, Choo Choo? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. So this is um, your first time on the show. So anybody who does tune in, um, my name is April. I'm speaking with one of my very good friends, Jay, and you're listening to the Lilypad podcast. And Jay, we, oh my gosh, it's been a while uh, since we've hung out, but. Um, too long, too long, darling. It was what, last summer? <laughs> oh my God, yes, it was last summer. It was. Too far, far too long, far too long. And I'm not going to see you probably till next summer with this whole coronavirus oh. thing going. Let's not say that. <laughs> I know. Let's not talk I, the C word today. <laughs> right. We're not going to well, say the know, C word. <laughs> it is the data and time we're living in these days, I guess. I know. It's weird. It is very strange. Um, and, and I'm not in a blink of an eye. It, it's, it's how life is, right? You, One day it's normal, and the next day it's an entirely new normal. <laughs> That's right. And we're just dealing with the new norm. Yes. So how have you been? Have you been... Holding, um, holding up with um, staying in more. I mean, I know we're not. Um, I know we weren't going to talk about it, but it kind of is. It is kind of the. Well, uh, you know, normal. we should begin with that, I suppose, right? It's the normal question now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, doing well. Um, doing a lot of just kind of housework, you know, and and trying to yeah. clean and 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 maintain and and do the outside and whatnot. So at least I have a yard and a garden, so that works for me. Yeah, you have a very cute yard, if I remember correctly. Thank you. It's even cuter now. I have a fire pit, like an Wait, actual fire pit. Oh, an actual fire pit. Okay, because I think I yeah. did have that one time I went. Oh, it was like one of those little raised okay. fire beds, whatever. Okay. What do they call it? You know, little barrels or whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. I um I heated up a cup of coffee. I made it a little too hot, so I'm letting it cool down. But I think it's probably gonna be perfect now. Listen, you're having coffee, coffee, and I'm having De Sorono. What the heck? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> well, of course, um, you know, and it's on the rocks. We're going to have it on the rocks, that one. Want it on the rocks, okay? <laughs> on the rocks. Um, well, that's good. So uh, so you're definitely chilling out today. So this is a really good time to chit-chat. And I, I was so glad that you had time this week, too. I've been doing these um, these calls, I mean, because I can't have anybody at the house. So... But I will say, I have had a better response doing phone call episodes versus, because people's schedules are crazy. Like, you know, you and I have tried to do it quite a few times, but it's just, you know, scheduling gets in the way, or life gets in the way. Um, and I find the phone call is just a lot easier. Well, we have the phone call now, and when we get together, we're getting you, together. Oh, good Lord. Ugh, I cannot wait to hang out. Like, we can't. I don't want to be – after this whole situation, and like I said, we weren't going to talk the C word, but we're not saying the word. But <laughs> <laughs> but I, after dealing with this whole thing, you know, it's one thing you miss the people you saw regularly. You really also miss the people that you didn't see regularly because now you just can't see anybody. So it's like I don't want to go this long, to, you know, when we see each other. No, so I know. And then we shouldn't. Free. <laughs> Makes makes us appreciate, you know, the value of friendships and seeing each other and being able to do that. Absolutely. No. So speaking of friendship, I was trying to think, and I think I we had texted before, we guesstimated we've known each other, what, about six years now? Is that correct? Um, yeah, it's got, it's got to be about six years, seven years maybe. Yeah, it's because it's been Cause a while. Yeah, I think I, I I think I met you right before my divorce, actually. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you were. Yeah, been, you, you technically, hmm, actually, let's see. I think I was I married still you, at the time. You were still married. I think you were married for at least six months to a year after I met you, but that was about it, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How time flies after a divorce. My God. I know. But we clicked right away. So, you know, I was always glad we kept in touch, you know. I guess. I know. No, kidding. no we did click. Very. <laughs> We've had and some I, fun times. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> hmm. We were just let's see. We were just texting about one of them not too long ago, and I I didn't want to get too much into it because I knew we would touch base on it. So of course, that day when we were at the festival there. Um, <laughs> oh, so, what was it? The well, Temple Fest festival was the name. Temple Fest, <laughs> yes, it was. Um, so you and I, I, first of all, I remember when I first got there and I saw this random guy bending over. <laughs> On the side of the road, and I said to myself, "Oh, that kind of looks like... Oh, that is Jay." 
I wonder what I was doing. Hmm. Down the road a little bit away from everybody. Yeah. And I'm like, what is he doing? And so I stopped and you were like, hey, you know, I was like, hey, you know. And we went for a ride. A cruise. Oh, yes, we did. We did. And then we, you know, went back to the fest. And so back in the day, you and I used to party. You know, and there's no secret. And I, I don't hide, I don't hide what I used to do in the past. We've all drank, we smoked weed, things like that. So on this particular day, Amen. we were a little, we were a little, um, cookied out. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it was train was, wrecked out. It, it, we were train wrecked out. Yeah. It definitely oh, was huh. choo choo. Oh my God. And <laughs> so you and I had this private joke for a long time and we call each other choo choo. And. Too funny. You and I were at one of the vendor booths, and you were standing to my right. And oh, yes, <laughs> I don't even know how that. How did that? Come? They were talking to somebody else. They weren't talking to us. No, they weren't talking to us. Yeah, there was someone yeah. standing at the booth, and they were chit chatting yeah. about magic and all that good happy stuff. And mm-hmm. you know, we were just doing our thing, looking at books, looking, looking at-, at merchandise. <laughs> You know, try not to act too obvious. Like, you know, hey, we're having a good time. Yeah, we're yeah we're we're reading. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're reading the backs of covers, and thank God, at, like seriously, thank God. <laughs> it's a good thing I had some kind of distraction for what happened after. Like seriously. And then I don't know if it was the husband or the wife, but then they they were talking about. Do you want to say it or shall I? Oh, let's see. Well, they talk, they were talking about Choo Choo University. <laughs> You and I, okay, if you've ever Ah. experienced a moment, anybody out there who's ever experienced a moment with a friend that you just wish you could have had videoed by somebody else. Oh, my God, yes. It was like I literally, and I physically felt what you were thinking, and (laughs) you weren't looking at me, and I just remember. I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I would lose it. You saw me out of your peripherals, and and, because I turned my head slowly, my I had this expression on my face. I'm like, did I just hear that correctly? I saw the. (laughs) (laughs) We both had that same expression. We did. I mean, not only were we smoking, you know, something that was called train wreck, but you know, we came up with our little terms of, hey, let's go for a little choo choo ride, you know. (laughs) And this person says. Choo Choo University, and you were you were like stone solid, like you were not even blinking. You said you didn't, you froze in time for a good ten seconds because had you even saw the look I was giving, because I I just slowly looked over when I saw the look on your face, I knew that you knew that I knew that you knew type of deal, and I we just lost. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, we had to walk away from that booth. It's a good thing, yeah. But we walked away with dignity. We didn't start cracking up. We should have, like, really. I just yeah. We when we that held woman. Our own. We held Yeah, oh, yes. When that woman ever busted out, oh, you know, I attended Choo Choo University. I'm like, there's <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way that's happening right now. And I hate to say this, but even if we weren't feeling good, that would have been hilarious. But it would have, wouldn't have had the luster it did with us, but still. Oh, yeah. That luster, it's just those, you know, with everything. Those three words. Those three words. Just. Oh, my God. We, yeah, starting calling Every time I hear a Choo train. Choo. Every time I hear a train, I chuckle. <laughs> hey, your text messages are still a choo-choo train. Like that. No, stop, like, really? Whistle. Okay. Of course it is. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it has to be. I can remember I teach, when you... Can I teach you, you a text will it work? <laughs> Oh, right. I remember when you used to text me, and you used to text me like 25 times, just so that you go, choo-choo. <laughs> like I'm doing right now? Oh, my God, yes. But I have it on time, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it. That's right. All right. I'm going to have to do that later just to remind you. Because I did. I would just put random letters, just like one letter and hit send, one letter and hit send. My phone would just be choo-chooing away. (laughs) I'm like, I know who that is. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. That was funny. We had some funny moments. Remember at the um, Art and Wine reception? Um, Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We were on (laughs) – We were on the stage. That was, that was soon after the divorce, too. God, yes. It was. Or actually, as soon as, soon as she actually, she, it was actually right after she left. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Wow, that was like a month after. Yeah, because she was like gone. But I think she left in September, and that was what, November? So, yeah, first month yeah. and a half or so. Oh, my yeah. God. And I then did that night. That was right when, um, you know, What's-Her-Face and I, well, I know her name, but What's-Her-Face and I um, got on the outs. That was kind of like, Right when that whole 
Oh, yes, they do remember that. Me and her blew up. Um, But I just remember, I think, wasn't it her, though, that knocked everything on the floor or something? Or, and we were picking up. Oh, something was happening. Oh, yeah. Something ended up on the floor, and someone needed to clean it. It was an awful mess. (laughs) And then you and I did that. And so, if anybody, if you have one of those folding chairs that has, like, some sort of cloth over it, so the front of it's covered. So, so Jay and I are on the floor picking up all these little, it was like little, I don't know what even what they I don't remember what they were, but these little things all off of those ton of them. And me and him are laughing our butts up because it was just funny. And oh, because no one can I, see us. We're on the floor no one, and like there's a whole audience. No one can I'm see I'm like, us. nobody can see what we're doing behind this table. And so we were like, tee hee tee. And then I looked at, then you looked at me and you said, <laughs> Do you want to make out? And I was like, okay. <laughs> We weren't even. I, no. That might have been because it was a wine reception. I think I might have had a few too many glasses, but probably that was hysterical. <laughs> that was great. Oh, you no. want to make up? Okay. <laughs> and oh, no one knew God. what was going on. No one knew. Not, That's what. Not it a is. one. No. no. Not a and one. We didn't make out with us, but oh my god, it was no, so no. funny. But it was just uh, great because that room was full of like about a hundred people, and you and I are the only two that knew what happened behind that table. <laughs> Trying to raffle off our, I mean, we, oh my god, mm. if anyone knew, it was so right. funny. <laughs> they didn't have it. They didn't have it this year. It was the first year. Oh wow! Was, well, that's last year, last year, yeah, I was a little well, bummed yeah, out. November. I lost. I I use. I I'm, I was a little bummed out because I usually get to run the kitchen and I make my homemade okay. my stuffed mushrooms that everybody. Loves. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah, I know, and I'm I'm and I'm terrible because I'm the only one that doesn't eat them because I don't like mushrooms. Like I just can't oh. do the fun guy. Yeah, I know. Even though you so are guys. a fun it guy? It so good. Yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> seriously. And, and, and uh, I can eat them raw. It's funny. When, when you cook them, forget it. Oh, I'm really? Just, well, it's probably yeah, a texture um, thing. Because they get it's a weird. So. It's an odd texture. It is. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We're not going there. No, I don't like that mm. weird texture. <laughs> My coffee is so good. Um, oh, yum. Yum. That was in the shit that I don't know. <laughs> oh. I can't, right. And I'm drinking right from the, you know. Right from the bottle? Uh, absolutely, you know it's chill. I mean, why not? It's and my, it's funny. My and and my dog is looking at me like, well, who are you talking to? Like I, because I have my headset on, so he can't hear you, but he can see me talking and laughing and and having a blast. And he's like looking, crooking his head, like, what's going on, Daddy? Your dog is. Your dog <laughs> liked me when I went. I think I visited. I met him once. Oh my God! Yeah, once he's big now. He's sixty, yeah. what, sixty-four pounds. Oh my God! He's huge. Oh my God. Yeah, he's, he's like huge. a horse. He's, he's, sweet. he's a horse, and you know he's a good little. He's a good rescue, and he came from. Yeah. Let's see, where did he come? He came from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh wow! Really? You know, so he, yeah, all the way, yeah, all the way down there. He was found eating out of the dumpsters um, at four months. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god! Aww. Yeah, four months old. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know his history from when he was born to four months, but they found him and his siblings eating out of the dumpster at four months old, and. He took an 18 wheeler ride up here with like I think 20, 21 to 27 other dogs and holy crap! Yeah, but, yeah I picked them up in uh, Quiche, Vermont, for crying out loud. So that's two hours for me. Quiche or Quiche? <laughs> I don't know, you know, whichever. Right? Quiche, Quiche, you know, same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I have a question about the dog thing. So, uh, you know, I, I've known people over the years. You know, they get dogs or whatever. No, oh, they came from out of state things like, you know, like for yours, were you looking for a specific dog? Is that why sometimes you can't get them out of mass or is it just, you know, like why is it that nobody in Mississippi was able, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a whole state. The whole state didn't want these dogs. Oh, yeah. I guess, so well, down south, I guess there's a big problem with spay and neuter laws. So I don't oh, think a lot okay. of people, I don't think a lot of states, actually, I'm sorry, or, you know, towns, whatever, um, really govern, like, you know, your dog has to be spayed or neutered, and so they're set loose, and then they have puppies, and oh, so their just, population yeah. of dogs is like, yeah, it's it's huge down there. So mm. um, you'll see, like, a lot of rescues do rescue from down south because there's just so many dogs, like, on the loose oh, okay. and getting pregnant and all that kind of stuff, so. That's why, you know, he, he they cut, that's why, I mean, I was looking for a dog, I was actually looking for a black lab, but. Oh. You know, <laughs> Toby's definitely not black, but he's got a what lab kind? shepherd mix. I mean, <laughs> he's a lab shepherd. I was just going to ask you because I forgot what kind of dog he was, too. Yeah, he's a lab shepherd. Once. Yeah, you're going to see him again. He's so cute. And I, but, um, I remember him being very friendly, so I do remember that. <clears throat> yes, he is friendly. Um, he he has his moments of pure insanity, of course. We all do. 
but he does. He, it, you know, and I, I, you know, that's obviously from, you know, a, a young animal or, you know, being taken away from mom way too young. You know, that's just mm, that's sad. You know, what not. Yeah, you know, so because I don't know how we got on the street, so I don't know like how long before, you know, how many weeks he spent on the street. So I'm thinking that he was taken away from mom too quick or just yeah. dropped off. Who know, Who knows what happened? But you know, he's in a good and that's how that matters. He is, and I tell him that. And I was like, you know, I heard there was a tornado in Jackson, Mississippi today. <laughs> so and I'm like, oh, Karen, I don't know. I love weather too. So, <laughs> so aren't you glad you're up here? <laughs> Oh, I know, really. And it came, he came about actually because of Facebook. Um, someone had posted um, a posting on, and I saw him, and he was so cute, and I was reading his yep. story, and um, I guess he had had, like, six other adoptions, like, fall through. Like, they were going to oh. adopt him, but, they, like, the applications fell through. Yeah, and so she was really looking for a foster yeah. and whatnot, and I was going to do that, but then I saw his face and then you know me being me i'm like can i really foster in a dog and then let him go i don't know that's why i can't do that that. that's why i can't foster because i'll I'll have i'll have like 27 dogs by the end of the month i think now because i own one i could probably foster and you know he's with me and then i could you know probably you know obviously let go the other dog but and it would be hard because i'm my i love animals too i would say i wouldn't bank on that because i my uncle they ended up with four dogs at one point because they would foster dogs and then they kept a couple. I'm pretty positive that that's what happened. So I wouldn't say that you, you'd be able to let them go because you, cause you're like me. I'm like, oh, but I love this one too. <laughs> oh, this one's so cute. I know, really. No, I think I would only keep it if it was a black lab puppy. Like if I ended up with a black lab puppy, I might keep it because I definitely yeah. want a black lab because, you know, I'm a witch. You know, black. I had a black kitty, but she's no longer with me though. But, you know, so I mean, why not? <laughs> Yeah, no, I hear you. I don't have a kitty either. But I, my thing with animals is, um, you know, obviously I do love animals. Uh, but my problem is, is, I mean, other than right now what's going on, but usually I like to be able to do something at any given time. So, like, say, you know, say oh, if we yeah. were going on through this quarantine and you and I said, you know, kind of like sometimes when the stars are line up, you and I end up being free and it's like, hey, well, let's do something. It's not like, okay, let's do something, but I have to be back in three hours to let the dog out, or i got to make sure my dog is fed. It's, um, cats are different. They're a little more independent. But oh, yeah. I would still hate to leave the cat alone all the time. But easier with cats. But um, and then So I, much easier, I, yeah. I technically am allergic to cats and dogs. Um, the allergies are mild. So it's just like if I pet your dog, and then if I touch my face, forget it. My eyes will be itchy all night. Um, wow, see, now look at what the coronavirus did. Now we're not supposed to be touching our faces at all. So this could yeah. be good. You won't, you know, touch him and then touch your face. <laughs> You'll go face home and wash your hands. I do touch my face all the time when I'm home after I know I'm yes. sterilized. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Oh, my God. I know. The things that well, we have to do now with you. We should have been doing anyway. Well, yeah. Um, but wearing the mask, though, I'll tell you, it, my glasses fog up all the time. Oh uh, yes, I know. Great. It's so cra- it's 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 crazy to see everyone with a mask on. You know, it's something that we've yeah. we've seen across the seas, and mm-hmm. you know, because of pollution and 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 yeah. stuff like that. But it's it's strange to walk around in your own neighborhood and yeah. you know witness it and it's yeah. like wow. We made homemade ones, and so at least the ones we have are, are pretty. My mother had some extra. Um, uh, she used to do quilting. So she had a lot of fabric, and so they we made perfect. fabric for family, and I, w- I measured them out, and um, so you know the, the the skinny hair elastics, right, that girls use, or some okay. guys, they have, if they have long hair, of course. Um, the man bun. The man bun. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I had, um, I always buy a bunch of them at a time because I go through them like crazy, and I happen to have, like, a full pack that I hadn't used yet. And I said, these would be great to go around the ears. Mm. So I bought a couple more packages, all black, and we, you know, they work perfect. I just put them right on my face, put them right around my ears, and good to go. That works. Yeah, and no, I, I had, um, I think two were made for me um, because I work in healthcare and whatnot, so they wanted to make sure I had one just in case. Yeah. And um, I ordered two, actually. One one that I ordered is, um, it has uh, the filter part, you know, for like a N95 material. And um, I also it also says Papa Bear on it. So, oh my God, no. So hey, you meant you, you brought up bears. So let's let's talk bears. And when I say bears, I mean Mr. Boston Cub 2019. Oh my God, crazy! How did this like, happen? Really? 
<laughs> like, <laughs> you invited me to like this page or all or your post, and I'm like, what just happened here? <laughs> what <laughs> is happening? What just I'm happened? I'm like, didn't know about this, so let's talk. Uh, well, after the divorce, um, I decided to, um, I've always been bisexual, so I've, I've kind of yeah. decided to walk the other side of the fence. I was married to a woman for 10 years. We were, I think we were together for like 14. And um, I decided, you know, I'm just going to go for the other side and, and took the advice of someone very dear to me and, mm-hmm. you know, tried to, to live that true self too because I didn't really yeah. do that when I was younger or experienced. So I really, you know, wasn't, you know, coming like familiar with anything. So. Um, I had met a boy on um, Pride, I think the first year I went to Pride uh, uh-huh. in Boston, and he took me to a bar called The Alley, which is in Boston. It's a great little bar. It's a bear bar, or it used to be a bear bar, because they used to, you know, the, the gay community kind of subdivides themselves sometimes, you know, into twinks and, you know, they, a bear. Or I've heard the term. Or, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've heard some of the, so. the some of the terms, yeah. Yeah, so this is a bar that, you know, holds a lot of bears and cubs and, um, you know, people who are furry. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, they have a contest. They hold the contest, and they've held it, you know, every year since I've been out. So um, I've seen the contest. I've seen people win, and it's, it was fun, and um, it, you know, promotes community within the, the bears and cubs, and um, yeah. they do a lot of um, – Charity work. Um, they also do some volunteer work at my brother's table in Lynn, uh, where we serve mm-hmm. food to you know the less fortunate. Um, but so they have the contest, and I entered in October of 2018 um, yeah. because I had a breakup, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do this contest because it's going to be for me, and I want to do this, and yeah. you know, I think I want to really help my community because I I really started identifying with the the bear community and the cub community, and they're I mean they're just a bunch of nice guys, and you know yeah. it, I've had a great time you know meeting people at the at the alley and having a few drinks and oh, so sure. I think, you know why not <laughs> well you're putting yourself you're putting yourself out there and there are a lot of people that don't do that i mean i'm i'm guilty of it but let's go back to you <laughs> oh thank you you know we, sometimes we do that i know i was doing that at the time and you know i really definitely i saw this and my friend arthur um, who was Mr. Boston Cup 2018? He really convinced me to do it. Like I, I and I was having a few drinks, so it didn't really take much to really because uh-huh. I think the deadline was actually that night or the oh. next day or something like that by midnight. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, I gotta if I'm gonna do this, I really I gotta do this now. And you know what the heck? And so I went home and filled out the application and and sent that through. And the guy who runs it, actually the president, who's the president now, actually Sean. Um, he even said he, he read my application and he laughed out loud because seriously, some of the things that I said on there were just absolute. And I was, you know, obviously drinking. So well, you're, <laughs> I didn't you care what my very, answers were. You're very colorful and animated. Colorful and animated. That's one thing. Oh, I know that I am. Well, and then had a few drinks and forget it. You know, we're just answering things ever so truthfully and not caring about really what anyone's thinking about it. But mm-hmm. so he got a laugh and chuckle at that. And so the following week, I um, let's see, there was a, a meet and greet on a Friday, and um, you know, met the other contestants, which there I think there were four, I believe, four or five at that time. Um, and you know, got the round down on what we're supposed to do, what we're supposed to do on stage, and um, after that meet and greet, we were supposed to sell raffle tickets, and um, that was crazy. <laughs> I sold a bunch of raffle tickets to a PAX bar, and it's not normal like selling raffle tickets. This is you're gonna measure like an inseam, you know, or around the world where you go from the 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 le- uh, the toes down to you know the crotch, and then the crotch down back down the other leg, and that's what we call around the world, and oh my god, <laughs> it was. Let me tell you, very interesting. I, I've never, I never really made a man sweat just by measuring his inside leg before. But hey, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of felt like a geisha at that point. I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm gonna have to mark this episode explicit content. Oh, I mean, god, yes, not yes, really, you will, maybe. but, but oh, you know, god. I have the option if it ever gets that, you know. Naughty. Oh no, that's that. No, that's as naughty as it gets. It's, it's not a, yeah, no, a naughty that's thing. Like it's a, just a show. That's a clean kind of dirty. Yeah, yeah that's a clean kind of dirty. So it was yeah. just a show that the contestants can, you know, come together and raise some yeah. money for a charity. Because it actually the money's raised for a charity called Bagley, which is for our gay youth. 
um, which is yeah. a great cause and stuff like that, you know, because they, they have a hard enough time, you know, be, actually being youthful in these days are a yeah. hard enough time growing up and, and then add, add, you know, being gay or trans or anything like that. I mean, that's going to just add more pressure into life and, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So um, they do wonderful with, you know, some of the, the things that they have and they actually cool. have a little place around the corner. Yeah, it's great. They have, you know, where they can go, they can socialize, they can get on a computer, you know, they can, you know, help find jobs or this, you know, it's a, it's a great little program. So. Oh, that's so nice. we raised money for that. I think actually that night we'd probably raise more money than any of the contests before. So that was awesome. So we raised quite a bit of money uh, for them. And so the contest was on Saturday. So I spent, um, let's see, actually, so Friday night I was at the bar till about 2 a.m. And then I had to go back Saturday for about noon. So mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. So into Boston, yeah, into Boston for Saturday uh, for the contest to be there. And uh, where they judged, you know, the answer. They, uh, they ask just questions and, and this and that, and, we, you know, the other contestants got to know each other a little bit more, and um, so we did that, and then the show was Saturday night, so, um, you know, we had to be on stage, and, you know, we had to do a little, it's it's what's called the bare minimal, so, uh, you oh. know, you could you well could strip down a little bit, you know, so, you know, I, I stripped down to my skivvies, you know, nothing crazy. I love that <laughs> word, my skivvies. My skivvies. Are you in, Jay, are you in your skivvies? Just curious. Uh, well, I, right now I am because I'm in my house working. So you know what the heck? Why not? <laughs> Be free. Not me. Not me. I'm actually wearing. I'm actually wearing a bra. So I'm. Oh, I'm, there you go. I'm trying to do that a couple times a week now, so I don't forget what to do with them when it comes to. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> going back to work. Oh, I need to wear one of those now. I guess. I will say though, when it was still really cold out, and leaving the house, she still had to put a few layers on. I didn't even wear a bra going to the market. Well, that's all right. You know, One, because I was going for 7 o'clock in the morning on, like, a Monday or a Tuesday. And I'm like, who am I going to impress at this time? <laughs> you totally get to do whatever you want. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, right now, having all this extra free time, I it's just weird not working. But I will say, I really don't miss my job. I, I, I miss some of the people and stuff like that, and I miss the routine big time. But the job itself, eh, whatever. Um oh, yeah. I, I'm at the point where I'm trying to find – well, first of all, I wish that I could just work because I didn't have to, but because I wanted to. Like, I wish I had a nice nice, nice little fat bank account. That would be great. But a little, little nest egg. There are big nest egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I go with that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but I, uh, I, like I said, I'm on the fence as far as what to do with the job. I mean, I'm looking and I'm going into the, you know, looking into the realm that I've been living in for the past few years. Um, but I'm also, I mean, if I can make money off this podcast and that would be ideal for me, I would love it. I would love that for you too. Yeah. And I'm trying, I'm trying new things. I'm trying, I'm playing around with videos. I'm actually, excuse me, supposed to be doing a live video tonight on Instagram with my friend, Mark. He said he was, now this is my friend. I've known him since grammar school. Uh, and I've had a couple, we've recently, we've recently reconnected. I've had a couple of episodes with him. And he's hilarious. He lives up. Oh, that's up there. Um, yeah. And I actually probably have to edit that out because I don't tell where people live. So I totally just, I totally just outed him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Make a note. Edit. edit Let's see. Time edit. <laughs> Edit at 27 minutes. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Seriously. And I will do that. I will mute that section out and put a funny sound effect. And people will be like, <laughs> I, have done, I used to do that a couple of times. Um, let me put. Um, oh, my God. Eight. Speaking of, oh, my God. Speaking of and sound then, effects, I know exactly which one you should add in. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The commercial. Oh, my God. Your voice over Oh, oh my God. Terrible. Oh, hold on. Actually, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that. And I need to um, – I'm going to touch base and let me make sure I can find this here. Um, oh, my God. That would be awesome. You should use that one. That has to be in our little podcast here. All right, hold on. I'm holding. I got nowhere to be. Trails or take a scenic drive and find beauty at every turn. Visit nhbrand.com. I think that's the wrong one, but. Oh, here it comes. Come on. This is. Oh, oh. Hold on. I don't think I knew it. Yeah, I don't think that was it. 
Okay, ready? Ready? Here. Here it comes. Traffic is rough. Unless you're in a mini. <laughs> Unless you're in a mini. <laughs> I love that. I don't know I why I get a kick out of that. I purposely I found know. that the other night and did those clips because I wanted to play them for you and not tell you. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. I don't, there is something about that little car, car horn and, oh my God, <laughs> driving in a mini. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I love it. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, it was the first time that I was hearing you like on the voices because you said you worked for what was it, the river at the time the river. And you were doing these yep. and I was always up in the mountains and stuff like that. So I, I'm surprised that <laughs> I never heard you. I was like, Oh my god, I can just imagine it now. I'm driving down the road and all of a sudden I hear April. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I love I it. I love that. Um it's part of my air check. I had a couple of little demos put together when um um for, you know, end of my voiceover work over there. I'm actually in the process of trying to put more um, more audio clips together for, you know, from the podcast, little excerpts from the show. Because, uh, you know, I'd love to do voiceover work. I think that would be really a lot of fun. Um, I mean, ideally, too, I would love to be on, like, a morning show or something like that. You know, I mean, you get up real early for those. But, you know, I'd love to be oh, yeah. on a radio show with multiple people. I, I just – think that those are so much fun or at least if anything at least one more person but oh my god yeah that would be really fabulous actually because i mean i, I like doing, doing the. That. thank you i i like mm-hmm. doing the podcast with people more than just when it's me because when i first started this endeavor i wasn't sure how i was going to feel if i was going to prefer being just me or with a person with me those i do really teeny tiny you know blurbs and i like to play mostly music so those would be mostly just music episodes but when i know i'm having a guest like you or anybody it's it's so much it's more engaging because i prefer to speak to somebody so well, yes yes it it's nice fun. yeah it's nice because you know i don't even like listening to me that long so i'm not going to make you guys do it all the time oh, I like but just, you have such a voice me. for it though i mean hello yeah. after the, oh my god after when, they contacted, when I had you do the commercial, actually. Remember the when you did my commercial? You did my first I, ever Jay's Photography I Studio love, commercial. I loved doing that. That was so fun. Do they still air it? Yeah, um, yeah. actually, until recently, I think, actually. Um, because it was oh, on a really? run. I mean, it was, over, it was over a year and a half that was running. So, yeah, they ran that for a long time. And I loved it the first time I heard it. On the, I died. I loved it. I was, I like, was so excited to hear me? it, too. I was like, uh-oh, who's that? Um, I get so many crap emails. Nothing that I want. If anybody looked at my phone, I don't know who was the last person to look at my phone. You know how like you have the little notifications in your app. What? I said it should have been you looking at your phone now. Absolutely right, and it was me. Um, (laughs) You know when you look at your apps and you have like notifications, you like the little red circle out says have one, two, it's oh yeah, yes. My email says ten thousand fifty emails. I have unread. Oh my God! It's all right. I think I have that many too. But the junk, you know, you, 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 yeah, you know, I, I, I go through vendors and stuff like that, and of course they share some lists, I'm sure, you know, here and there, and blah blah blah. So you get these random emails, but oh well, <laughs> we yes. just deal. Yes, um, we definitely, um, definitely do. Um, but I was just finishing my note regarding the fade out, so I know how I know when to add that random sound effect. But um, <laughs> I was telling you I was doing a live video. I, I complete. This is what happens with the show, Jay, and this is what I love about the show sometimes, and I hate it too. I'll have said topics, and then there's always there's always deviation. But I I like it because I don't know. It just makes it 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 relates to everybody because this is what happens when you hang out with your friends. You'll start on one thing and you kind of do all kinds of things, and you start talking about everything, and you come back to say you know, certain topics and things like that. But so my friend Mark, I've known him since first grade, and he's 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 great. And um, we reconnected, and when I came up with the thought of doing these phone calls, you know, I was like, ooh, Mark would be fun to talk to. I haven't talked to him in forever. He's in theater, things like that. So oh, there you had, go. Yeah, he actually owns his own theater company um, um, up there, and he actually said, um, that he'd love to have me in one of their productions, so I'm totally going to do it. Oh, so absolutely. It. Coming in for a ticket. I'm there. Oh, I'm like, what, what are you getting a ticket for? And so I go, I go like, <laughs> this, I'm like, 
<laughs> I said to myself, I can't act, sing, or dance. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, please, you could do, you could do that. I think you could be fine. It'll be like, um, you know, do you remember the movie um, Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> do you remember at the very end when he had his big movie debut, paging Mister Herman, paging Mister oh Herman? That's God. that's the kind of role never I need. Admit that. <laughs> Maybe we should never admit that we've actually watched it. I mean, that just goes to show our age, but let's not talk. <laughs> All right, I will totally feed this whole section out. It never happened. <laughs> oh, no, kid. I don't care. No, me too. You know, I'm 40 and I'm proud. I mean, hey, I'm 40 and I became Mr. Boston Cub 2019. Come on. Uh, 40 right? is fabulous. <laughs> 40 is fabulous. You know who's going to be 48 this year? This girl right here. No way. Yeah, 48, dude. Um, sick, right? You sick. You, you, it's sick because you don't even look it. You don't even no, please. You don't look it, and you certainly don't act it. So, I mean, who can we act like we are young? And we are fabulous, darling. We are, and you know what? I, I'm okay with that. I, I've like I said, I think it's it's kind of like it's not even a midlife crisis because I'm not I'm not going out buying a Corvette or anything. But it's just one of those things where at the end of every decade you have, you start viewing things differently and I just I think to myself holy crap 50 is like seriously right over there it's not it's quite there. there but it's right over there I can see 50 but you know you're still out <laughs> it's of on, reach it's standing on the corner a little bit down the street yeah 50 is rearing its ugly head and I can see it but I still can't I'm still not like you said I'm not at the corner yet I still got a few little little bit time before that but it's just I start thinking about life in a different way and it's like I it's not that I don't care, but I don't care about a lot of things like um, doing videos. Like I said, doing that live video with my friend Mark tonight. I think it's at 9 o'clock on Instagram. We're just going to chew the fat like this. Um, but I think breaking into video is going to hopefully get more views or something. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm just I'm playing around, trying to get creative. Okay. And uh, Which I don't care. Time. I mean, kind of, you know, because this corona thing is, I mean, Bad, obviously, you know, because yeah, there's the thousands of people dowsing. Well, I know, but you know, if there's so many people yeah. that are, are in a hardship, but there are mm-hmm. is so much creativity also, you know, beginning again because there's oh, you no know, we're stuck idea. at home, we don't have anywhere to go, and you know, so I mean, it, it's good and it's terrible. We have to see the good and the terrible, you know. It's just oh, you it's really what do. We do. But this is a thing too, and it's it's a phrase that I don't recall where it originated. Um, but I've heard it a lot lately, but it's one that I've always liked for years. Um, necessity is the birth of invention. Oh, there you go. And you have people just creating new ways to entertain themselves and their loved ones and things like that. And personally, I I feel that <clears throat> I don't care if I look like crap on camera. If I'm having fun. Yeah. Well, you never look like crap, so, I mean, that's, that's, oh, well. <laughs> no, like, you know, no, you haven't seen me today, so. Oh, right. please, you never look like crap, even on a bad day. I've seen you on a bad day. I've seen you camping. Girl, you don't look bad. Oh, you have. That's uh-huh, bad. I have. <laughs> yes, you have. All right, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I always look great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have, you, yes, you are always fabulous, darling, fabulous. <laughs> I miss camping. God, I miss camping. Oh, me too. I, I, I plan if if places are open, I plan on going. Actually, I really plan on going up to um, Acadia. I think Acadia National Park, which is up in Maine. Yeah. And um, I, I definitely want to try to get some pictures up there, actually, because supposedly that's where the first rays of sunlight will enter the U.S. and stuff like that. So I kind of want to get pictures up there. This is a nice little segue into let's talk photography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I, I, like I said, I picked a couple things as you know, I knew what would be interesting to touch um, to touch upon, and I know that you um, are a photographer. You do, um, you're a volunteer photographer, and you do a lot of nature and for your own business and things like that. What is your favorite topic to? Well, actually, I think I already know, but you tell me. What is your favorite realm to photograph in? Oh, can I pick two? I mean, <laughs> mm, I mean, nope. I love. No, come on. <laughs> I'm a hard I love out. doing no. both. Oh no, I love doing both. Um, I really love taking nature photography. I love doing See, that because I'm always out I, in nature. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> nature would be the first yeah. one. You know, but um, I am. I do weddings and stuff like that, and so, um, yep. and I love weddings because it's a different challenge and it has people in it, and people are can be hard to photograph and 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 get yep. those. You know, and I love that challenge. 
I love to, you know, take a, a moment in their life and, and it's a good photograph and they'll remember it forever and, mm-hmm. you know, it's shared between them too and, um, I love that because then they get to cherish it, you know, and, and then of course, you know, the, the nature of photography people get, you know, to hang on their wall and, 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 yeah. and have a piece of my art and, and on their wall, which is awesome. Like I never thought that actually might happen, but uh, it uh-huh. has. So, you know, it's great to, to, to kind of do these things and I've seen, you know, with the nature of photography, so many different things. I mean, I oh. literally drove, let's see, from a wedding that I was doing on a Saturday night or something like that, uh, some crazy whatever, and um, it was in August. It was, like, 2017 because this is when the uh, solar eclipse was happening. And mm-hmm. so at, like, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock, I think I left the house here after getting home from the wedding. Shoot, so shooting in a wedding for eight hours. Yeah. Um, I brought all my equipment, packed the car, and me and my boyfriend at the time, uh, we drove down to Tennessee. We drove to oh, Gallatin, wow. Tennessee. Yes. So it took us like just over uh, like a day, uh, day or two to get there. Um, just in time for, we got there the night before the eclipse. Um, and that was fun. So we were driving around, you know, aimlessly looking for a place to, to stay and, and everything yeah. was booked. Oh my God. Everything was like totally booked. And of course that, that that's going to happen when you're in the line of totality and whatnot. Right. So, um, I wasn't really worried about it. You know, I, I'd sleep in a car if I had to, to get a, a shot. I, I'm one of those kind of pretty people. <laughs> now, what so, was um, it about Tennessee? What was it that you were going to get? It was the uh, total solar eclipse of 2017. Just the total solar but nothing else other than just that? Nope. It was um, it was just the total solar eclipse. Okay. Um, and this is something that I have dreamed about seeing, just seeing in my lifetime yeah. forever, since I've, I've heard about it and since being a witch and, and, you know, how much our ancestors feared it and it caused this and, it, and you know, the, the emotions that it evoked, you know, back then because they didn't understand it. They didn't have the science of that, you know, why yeah. it was happening. So, I mean, just that alone, I just I wanted to go see something so magnificent that the Earth provides, you know, the, the universe, really. Um, okay. And it, it came up that in 2017 we were going to have this total solar eclipse, and it was coming from the West Coast all the way down through, um, you know, Washington and all those states, you know, um, Wisconsin or where, you know, and then going through Tennessee and um, going out to South Carolina and stuff. And mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I should really go and and see this. Like, it's going to be on the U.S. soil now. Yeah. That doesn't happen a lot, so it's usually overseas. So you'd have to fly. And I was like. You know, I'm not really able to afford much after the divorce to go fly somewhere to go see an eclipse. Right. And so I was like, at least this is drivable. I have a car. I have money for gas. I, I can maybe stay somewhere and, you know, we can, yeah, okay, we'll do this. <laughs> so I really, I, I was like, okay, I don't, I, I, and I thought I wasn't going to get to do it because, like you said, I had a wedding and the wedding kept adding on. And I was like, well, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But um, my boyfriend at the time convinced me, hey, let's go. You know, if this is something you really want to do and see and experience, then, Let's just do it. I'll help you drive and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we, we I think I drove from, I think, 11 o'clock, and I made it all the way to Pennsylvania. Wow. <laughs> so as the sun was coming up, yeah, so I spent an all-nighter driving, um, and I took my nap while, you know, he drove during the day a little bit and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, we got there um, the night before, and everything was booked, and um, we ended up staying in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> 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 oh yes, I blew up an air mattress and stayed at a Walmart parking lot because he was so tired. He wanted to to catch some Z's and the car wasn't mm-hmm. comfortable. And you know there was like forty to fifty other people in that parking lot, but all day for the same reason. You know, I mean it was friendly and it was actually really not buggy, which is kind of surprising because well, that night crazy. actually driving around we uh, and I brought my tent just in case to you know, pitch it anywhere. And um, as we were driving through one of the parks there. Uh, which were full to capacity. It was just unbelievable. Could even pinch, pitch ten. Um, we saw these fireflies that were, I mean, by the hundreds of fireflies. I was like, oh my god! But I didn't get to take a picture of that moment because he was tired. So I was like, okay, let's let's try to find somewhere to crash for the night. And you know, because it happened to be, you know, driving all night and then it happened to be eleven, ten or eleven o'clock at night now. And so I was like, all right, let's just go here and you know, we could sleep in the car or whatever. And yeah. you know, people were having a tent, and so I blew up the air mattress. I'm like, here, let's get vertical. You know, blah blah blah. Let's, Let's just take some Z's and, and get ready for the morning and stuff like that. And so we did. Um, at least I did first. Anyway, <laughs> I had no problems zonking out at that point. I was like, whatever. It's fresh air. I'm under the stars. Um, I think I got up at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I noticed that we had some high clouds. I was like, oh, my God, tell me it's not going to be cloudy. Because oh, I'm no. the type of person, like, if you're going to see it, you're going to see it, and you're going to commit. Like, I would have drove an extra 200, 300 miles just to get into clear skies. 
And because oh, you don't know, have to plan for things like that. I would have packed the car and gone, like, if it was going to be cloudy or whatnot. But, well, it's a good um, thing you didn't have any other ideas of places or things to to photograph. Like, glad that you went down with the one the one mission. So that oh, yeah, it was the sure one mission, yeah. Yeah, perfect. It, Yep, it was the one mission until that was accomplished, and then we could, you know, venture and 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 do this and do that. So, oh, um, nice, nice. the the eclipse came and went, and it was uh, it's most breathtaking thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It is the most magical thing I think I've I've seen. Um, it invokes emotions that you have no idea. I mean, I ended up crying after the whole thing. Like it, it was just wow. amazing to witness and see and experience and. Um, you know, the, the people like, and there was thousands of people, um, like lined up on streets and this and that. And I happened to find a little field that I think they have like a state fair because I kind of wanted to share the experience, but be alone because I was focused on taking pictures, of course, you know, and this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's something actually difficult to do. Um, I, I was reading all kinds of things and the equipment that you needed and blah, blah, blah. And I, I didn't even know if I, I'd have the right lens, but you know, I'd had something to take a picture with. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to take a gamble, and everything paid off. I, I, I mean, I, the, the eclipse was happening. Um, I kind of figured out my, my filter, because you need a special filter for that time. Um, it was completely yeah. darkened out, like, you, you know, the sun, So you because you can't point a camera at the sun, or else you're going to go blind, because it's... it's oh, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that I noticed that it was a, a little a little bright at the beginning, and then I was, like, looking at it, and I was like, oh, it turns it. Oh, yes, it dials. Okay, sure. So I turned it down, and, and, and from that point on, everything, you know, it was great, and I got some wonderful pictures. The first picture I snapped, I swear to God, I was like a kid at a candy shop. I was so happy and thrilled that I have one picture of the solar eclipse that's mine, you know, and a, a memory that, like, lasts a lifetime, and it was special. And so we went to Nashville, Tennessee after that, and we poked around, and then we came home because I had to actually start work. I was supposed to be starting work that week, but I was like, you know what, I've, I've committed to this. I'm going to go. Uh, because I was working at for another studio that did portraits for mm-hmm. seniors and and the school photography, school picture day and stuff like that. So I was like, no, I'm, I can't begin until like you know that, at least that you know a couple of days after. I won't be back till at least the weekend or whatever. So um, I'll start on that Monday. And so I did. I I went down, drove down, and had the weekend to chill, and then right back to work on a studio come Monday morning. And that was awesome. It was really it was if, if you haven't it done it. Like- it's do it because it's coming. It's it's coming up again in April of 2024. So oh, we'll is? have another. Yes, we'll have another total solar eclipse happening. I think this one starts on the eastern seaboard, and this will go through like like the tips of Maine and Vermont, New Hampshire, um, and then it slides down south and stuff like that. So, uh, and 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 already it's 2024, and this is only 2020, and I'm already beginning to look at weather patterns to see what they what you know the places of totality are like for weather and you know what's the chances of having anything you know whatnot yeah. and right where you would so, see it best oh my goodness yes i, I mean i could you. save myself <laughs> you could i, I want to get a, a bunch of people together if they want to go and take pictures and and just enjoy the solar eclipse if that's all they do you know you i have a telescope that, oh. oh then you should bring it yeah i have absolutely a get a you should get a filter for that telescope, and you should no idea how to use it. Oh my God, it, you, you love it. You should probably. I'll tell you. We can get into that, but you should definitely get a yeah. filter and, and bring it and experience it because it is just. It's amazing to see that. I don't know to see to look up to have like a complete black moon in front of the sun, and you can only see the corners, you know, whatnot, and, and the rays and stuff. And for four minutes, I think the next one is like four minutes and sixty seconds, or or something yeah. like that. So it's a long, it's a long time actually. That's pretty long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but but it's uh, I'm thinking it's an adventure. It is such an adventure, and it's a cool little adventure to say, you know, yeah. I, I did this. Like, well, it's like the people back in like like 1969 when they went to Woodstock. That kind of an adventure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to be able to, you know, have stories to tell when you, are, you know, you can't do them. It's it's nice. It's it's good to, <clears throat> excuse me. It's good to plan these kind of fun things because. There, like I said, there'll be a time when you're, you know, not not as mobile or you don't have the time to do it or whatnot. But if you plan ahead, 2024, I'm definitely down to do that. Oh yeah, me too. I'm just trying to figure out. Obviously, it's April, and April around here can be kind of chilly. So I'm like, mm, mm-hmm. I don't know if I really want to spend. Because I mean, you're you're taking pictures, and I don't want it to be like kind of really cold when I'm taking right. pictures. But so I was thinking about venturing maybe back down south because my other passion uh, with nature photography and stuff like that is actually I would love to do some storm chasing down there. <laughs> I'm that kind of nut. 
I am that kind of that that oh, loves no. thunderstorms, loves lightning. Uh, you know, I just love how nature can just be nature and, you know, unleash this, you know, energy and, and, and whatnot and, and, and do things that it does. And you know so I, I would do? love to do that. You know what I could do? We could we could totally do that. And I'll try to make sure I can have this podcast on the mobile side and it'll be the lily pad podcast on the road, you know, storm chasing. Oh, my edition. God. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love that. Yeah. So that would be and- fun. April, I think it's April, it's early. So I mean, storms. I think storm season actually kind of begins around April, you know, end of April, you know, May and and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, so I might, you know, I might venture down south because it might be two birds one stone. You know, two I might see an eclipse stone. one day and then see a supercell with a tornado or something like that on the next day. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I am too. You know, I'm okay with that. Oh my god, I would love, I would love to see a tornado. There's something else I'd love to see in my in my lifetime is. I would love to, new. but I want to make sure I stay safe from it. Because, I mean, I, I – because they are very unpredictable, or they can be. Um, but it would be an amazing thing to see in real life versus on the TV. I mean, I watch the movie Twister constantly whenever it's on. But I like – You know, as as long as I can get close enough to get a full-frame picture, I'm good with that. You know, right. I, don't, I don't need to be – I'm not an extreme. I'm not filming it for, you know, for science, or I'm not filming it for, for – uh, you know the news or anything like that. I'm I'm good within a mile or two. <laughs> I want to I want to hear it and I want to you know at least feel the the rear downdraft from that. You know just the wind alone can be just crazy and the ghost train. You never know. <laughs> Ooh, ghost train. But those can be dangerous. Yeah, it's it's called a ghost train. It's it's actually um it's like a inflow jet to the to tornado. It comes on the backside usually and it, it it's train. just it lays low. Yeah, it's crazy to see. Um, if you watch Skip, Skip Talbert actually on. On YouTube, he has some great storm, I'm sorry, storm spotting uh, tips and stuff like that. And I watch him, I follow him, I follow all kinds of storm chasers, you know. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm that informed on where to go and where to make lo- most likely to see one and whatnot. But my friend Emma actually would love to come see one from Ireland. She would love to come and storm oh, wow. chase one day too. Oh yeah, she's she's in love with them too. It's like oh my god, maybe we should. <laughs> <laughs> that yes, would be please. Exciting Sign me up. Exciting series of photos to take. Oh my God, yes! I, I can just—I mean, some of the photographs that I've seen, and some of the ones that you know, um, uh, Hank uh, or Picos or something like that—it's a it's, um, different name, but he he does uh, some photography, and he's a storm chaser down there, and has done some science with it, and he's taken some great shots of clouds and lightning, and oh my God, I'm just oh, so jealous. Amazing. It's so crazy. we never get anything like that of him. No, no, and it's a—it's really amazing how what the you know the uh, weather can be like, you know, with clouds and storms and things like that. It's just insane and how it oh affects God, the oceans or anything like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad we don't have a lot of tornadoes. Mean, we have tornadoes up here, but not, not where we are, more in the Oh, other we've states. had them here. No, oh, we've had them here. Remember the tornado warning that we got last year here? That was mm-hmm. in Haverhill. Well, that was Haverhill anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't we get did, them all got, the time. Oh, yeah, we don't get them all the time. We get them like maybe like spring or late summer is when we usually kind of get them, you know, because our air, it's, our air is right. We're close to the ocean, so a lot of those storms tend to break up with our atmosphere and stuff like that. Right. But some do last. And I can tell. It's funny. I can always tell when a thunderstorm is different around here. It's funny. I think in September when my ex left me, we had a most magnificent storm that I couldn't even concentrate on. <laughs> my friend happened to stop by, and she was just making sure I was okay and everything like that, which is yeah. absolutely fabulous. But I missed one hell of a storm sitting in her car and the uh-huh. lightning and that had a tornado warning. And actually last year when I was working, I went outside because we do, I do what's called van duty because I'm a CNA. So yeah. um, we do what's called, and I work at a day program and they come and go from vans and stuff like that. And I was doing van mm-hmm. duty, sending them around the corner. And even then I could tell by the clouds, they were, they were the way they were moving and the lightning that we were having was quite different than we normally have. And I was like, something yeah. is up. And so I looked on, of course, you know, I had my radar up on my phone. I'm like, what's going on here? And you could tell that it was pretty severe, and you could see rotation, and that's when all of a sudden um, oh, our phones started going off, that we had a tornado warning, and the clients, the patients couldn't leave because we had to be on lockdown. And, oh, my God, that was crazy. It was absolutely insane. Oh, it is insane. I, it is insane. I do love, I love it. Of course. Thunderstorm. I love the rolling thunder when you hear it from a far away and then it starts to slowly get louder and louder and it comes up. No, and, right. Oh, uh, yes. It loves yes. that. Um, 
one of my favorites. You no, know, and I still haven't. I still haven't even got a good picture of lightning yet. You know, because our hills, we have so many hills, and we can't mm. see. It's not flat like it is out west. Yeah. <laughs> It's you know, where you can see these things for miles and miles coming at you, you know, and plenty of pictures to take. But here, you know, it's, it's, you got to wait pretty close. And I, I've, I've waited pretty close where I've said, you know, maybe this isn't being the brightest that I can be right now. I think this is how people die. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't, but, you know, what's a couple more pictures? Yeah, hey, five more minutes. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. I'll wait until the rain starts. That's what my cue is time to go. Yeah. And it starts, you know, starts raining. I can't, you know, I can't afford to get anything, you know, the camera's wet or anything like that. So, yeah, it's a good, no, no, no. It's, it's a good gauge. It's a good gauge. Um, now, let's see. What else? Um, oops. I'm trying to mark down the things we've talked about. I try to stay on schedule. It doesn't always happen. Um, well, you know. So, um, what was I going to say to you? Have you been doing any of your – can you still do the um, volunteer photography that you do for the local radio station? Have they called you at all for anything? I've um, done here and there. I haven't done a lot, actually. With WHEV, I haven't done um, too yeah. much, actually, this this spring yet. Um, I know that uh, they were going through some change over there, and they were trying to do some shots and stuff like that. Um, and um, I still – fill in if, you know, he needs something or, you know, if there's an emergency or something like that, he needs some good photos. So that's been interesting because, you know, I've seen some crazy things. <laughs> oh, I can imagine because you would go around the town and take some pictures and things like that. Oh, yes, yes. If there was a homicide or if there was a, a shooting or if there was, you know, anything happening live. Um, I think there was a bank robbery. I remember there was a bank robbery at, uh, a robbery at one of the banks. Really? Of course, I was standing there. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. And I was standing there. <laughs> My little press badge on. <laughs> That's great, my little press badge. <laughs> my little press badge. <laughs> oh, Chrissy Joe might start coming out. I'm not sure. <laughs> and who is Chrissy Joe? Do tell. Oh, you don't remember Chrissy Joe? You don't remember the stories that I used to tell you? Oh, my God. I, you know what? <laughs> you know, you, I'm, I'm sure you have, but sometimes um, I'm going to blame it on being old. Oh my god! Is Chrissy Joe your alter ego? Chrissy Joe is my alter ego. I should say. Well, you know, it's really it's it's and it's only happened by like you know years of talking about Chrissy Joe. So, Tu Wong Fu, which we all know is a good movie. It's great. I love that movie. Drag queens, and it has Patrick Swayze dressing as a woman as a drag queen. Oh my god, it's fabulous. So, uh, there was some character in there named Chrissy something or whatever, and. I don't know, it just fell in my head that, you know, they were down south and Chrissy Joe happened to be selling uh, magazine subscriptions to the New England Leather Alliance. This is how much I thought about her. <laughs> oh, my so God. So she's, she's from the south. She Her job is to sell subscriptions to the New England Leather uh, Alliance. Okay. And she makes these calls and she tries to, you know, to sell her, 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 her uh, subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to answer the phone sometimes with Chrissy Joe, and people wouldn't even know. They thought they were speaking to some woman, some southern woman. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Chrissy Joe. Let me tell you about Chrissy Joe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> She's a southern belle. <laughs> so, this is why I always see one of my most colorful friends. <laughs> oh, I'm colorful, right? <laughs> I don't have an alter ego. I, I don't even know where it came from. And actually, Chrissy Joe made her first appearance last year in October. <laughs> oh, that's right. She did first her first appearance. She she decided she was going to dress as the Mad Hatter, and so she decided to wear. The she, she got herself a a wig, and she had her her Mad Hatter out, you know, her top hat, and and she she put on her heels and her tutu, and she went outside, and she went she went to Boston all dressed up. Oh, good for her. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, the things I never thought I'd be doing. <laughs> but, you know, and let me tell you, to keep it on that realm right there, um, the things you didn't think you'd be doing, it's like, but you're having fun, and, and you follow your dreams with certain things, with the, with the photography and things like that. And with, like with my friend Mark, he's in the theater. I said, you know, there are. it's nice to follow your dreams, and to follow your gut and things like that. Now, with 
you saying things I never, you know, I thought I'd be doing. I never thought I'd be doing a podcast. But it's amazing when certain decisions in your life lead you in a direction you never dreamed of. I had oh, no, I love it. I had never planned on doing this. Never no, planned I, on I, doing I, it. I, you know, if it was planned, I don't think I'd be doing it. And and because I've always wanted to, you know, my own camera, and I always wanted to take pictures. And it wasn't actually until right. I think it was the fall before everything started happening. Um, mm-hmm. My friend Krista called me, and she was desperate desperate for another photographer because her yeah. assistant had called out and it was such short notice that she couldn't find anyone. Everyone else was booked for the weekend. And she was like, dude, uh, you need me to do me a favor. Uh, and I told her up and down, I was like, you are a crazy girl. I was like, there is no way that I'm going to get behind a camera and go to a wedding, someone's special, special day and, and take pictures. I'm like, I'm still not going to ruin that for anybody. I was like, I can't do that. She, she, and she begged. She literally begged. Oh, she, and I was like, Fine. She's like, I will do this. You know, she's like, we can meet like a few, like a couple of hours before the wedding. I will teach you how mm-hmm. to use the camera. She's like, the only thing that I've seen with your, your photographs, I was to take pictures on my cell phone. Mm-hmm. And she's like, the, the things that I've noticed with your cell phone is like, you have a concept, you have an eye for photography. And at that time I had no idea what she was talking about, but I was, you know, she's like, you, that's something I can't teach you, but I can teach you the mechanics of how to work a camera. So and that's, oh, that's yeah. how it all began. That's you know that's really awesome. Sorry, I'm doing a couple of things, so I may be in and out when I listen to this thing back. But yeah. um, um, I think it's great. Like you said, you 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 weren't even planning on doing it. You 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 got you know trained on working a camera, and then who knew? Who Absolutely. Knew? Well, if I was still married, I wouldn't be doing it. Like I wouldn't have gotten my own camera, you know, this and that, and and whatnot. So you know the the the, the things the the blessings that sometimes come out of, out of uh, you know such. You know, tragic events and whatnot, you know, can be amazing, oh, too. You know, they change lives. They change lives. We go in different directions, and we said, why not, you know? Yes, no, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't, I wouldn't trade it. <laughs> I really wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade my camera for being married again. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Absolutely. That's okay. <laughs> because this is where you're supposed to be. And that's, that's Absolutely. You're always where you're supposed to be at any given time, whether it's something you planned on or expected or or not expected, especially those. Like I said, I, I never in a million years thought I'd be doing anything like this. I mean, I'm not getting paid to do it. You're not yet anyway. Yes. I'm not yes. making any moolah hmm. off it, but one day I will. Yes, uh, you will. But um, other than that, it's just, you know, living the living the dream and staying out of trouble or maybe getting into a little bit, but the good kind. <laughs> That's good kind of trouble. It's always fun. Oh yeah, no, I. And I, you'll be getting, you'll be getting into trouble if you come with us for the the solar eclipse of twenty twenty four. Okay. Get you a little trouble. <laughs> okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Money, I'm okay with that kind of trouble. <laughs> nope. Just need enough money for maybe a little gas. Who knows? Maybe a little gas, a little hotel. You know, yeah. and, and good. Yeah. Or camping it, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> who knows? I got to figure all of that out. I can't even believe it. It's like, and it will go by so quick. I just have to figure everything out now. It's like all the planning for like 15 minutes worth of what you need. It's actually, well, yeah, from start to finish, it's it's longer than that. But the total totality lasts about four minutes and, and 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or something like that. And that's pretty long because there are some areas that get totality and it's 30 seconds, it's 60 seconds. It, it's not oh, really? very long at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so very lucky that, you know, at least, you know, you could figure out things and and whatnot. So, but I learned that much in that short amount of time to to be able to film something that is very difficult to film. And I I, I love it, you know, and and I got to appreciate it, too. Because one of the things I was definitely reading is that, you know, when you're enjoying these things, don't forget to look behind, you know, out from, you know, from the viewfinder and actually look up and enjoy and look around. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I did because the, the, you think, like, you see total so it's, like, pitch black. and Because you, you see these pictures, you know, they're pitch black and blah, 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 this and that. And, and it's not. It's a 360-degree sunset, and the colors are just amazing. Like, it's just, like, wow. You know, and, and, and things start, you know, coming out as if it was nighttime, and they're all confused. Oh, oh what's and, happening with your headset? Uh, I think that was a motorcycle driving by. Oh, it was? Um, yes, I'm inside. I think that was a motorcycle driving by. I heard that. <laughs> I love I love the noise of motorcycles. Not to completely switch gears, but yeah. 
Well, you know, we all love that much power between our legs. <laughs> we really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad. That's the DeZerona talking. <laughs> that true sister. Huh? Amen, sister girl. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Darling, 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 darling. So I got to tell you, so you, you, you actually haven't really seen the studio in person yet, right? Not yet. I'm so excited to get to it. Yeah, well, right now it's a mess. I, um... There's total chaos behind my chair. I'm trying to organize that. And we're trying to organize the downstairs. So I, I, you know, I said to my mom, I said, well, I'm going to go into the room next to the stairs, the other, you know, opposite where I'm at. I said, in any box that has April on it or anything that I know is mine, I'm going to bring it into the studio and I'm going to start going through it and either repacking it somewhere, like, you know, because I have some things in boxes and things like that. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm either going to keep them, throw them away, or reuse, things like that. And oh, i got to yeah. tell you, oh, my God, it's a freaking mess in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Uh, well, five boxes, two of those big plastic bins. One of them I've already emptied, and it's got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to toss in the trash. Then I have these two rolling cabinet thingies, you know, like plastic, that I had put all my paints and my glitter in. Now, I'm not going to get rid of the glitter because that would just be – well, that would just be crazy. But all the paints are... Never, well. <laughs> yeah, you never get rid of glitter. Um, but oh, I have how do we get rid of glitter? That's right. Yeah. But I'm going to get rid of all the paints. And um, because they're all old and dried up. But I was looking at some of the stuff and I was like, oh, I need to paint. I haven't painted in years. I miss painting. Oh, yeah. I should get back to that. Yeah. It'd be nice to paint outside. Maybe I'll do that one day, you know. Now that I'm, you know, jobless, I can go outside and it's getting nice out, sit in the sun, you know, uh, and get even more creative. Absolutely. Mm. I love you. I was actually, I was out there before I even called you. What's that? I actually was outside enjoying the sun and doing some yard work right before I called you. I was planting some grass seed and planting some wildflowers and Uh, tending to the garden. Perfect. Now, what do you have in your garden? Ooh, what do I have? Um, not special. I have um, some tiger lilies. I have some lilies. I have some hostas. I have some uh, black-eyed Susans and some daisies. And mm-hmm. I have all kinds of things. Uh, you know, yeah. so, <laughs> flowers cost so much. I've resorted to I- – I've transplanted flowers. I have transplanted irises and um, hostas and uh, um, calla lilies and stuff like that. Um, you know, from the side of the road, black eyed Susans and all that kind of, I, I transferred yarrow, yarrow. I get to grow my own yarrow, dry it out and use it for incense. You know, that's always a good thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so, um, I, I, and, and not spending a, a ton, a lot of money on, 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 you know, going to the flower shop and, and buying flowers and stuff like that. Once in a while, like I will like spring and, you know, plant some manzies or pansies, I should say. We call them manzies. It's so funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know they're called and they call them manzies. I don't know. Yeah. My you friend who's like manzies. my friend who's also gay. Yeah, my friend who's also gay calls them manzies, and that's all I ever called them. That was manzies. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but you know, those are, those are good for some spring color, instant color, or whatnot. So oh yeah, you know, once why in a not? while, I mean, they're cheap. You know, those are pretty cheap, and those are annuals. But I I try to you know buy the perennials that come back every year and yeah. and whatnot. And I, I flipped over a new garden bed this year for. Um, all the wildflowers and stuff like that, so I can get some hunting hummingbirds and butterflies and you know some interesting wildlife here, maybe nice <laughs> <Like> insects. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you had any herbs, um, like you know, because we usually try to do, um, you know, um, basil. We love we love growing our own basil. Ooh, yes. Um, we love growing our own basil. Um, sometimes we did parsley. But not very often. But I want to put some really nice multiple, you know, raised gardens in our backyard because our backyard is cute, but it's all the grass is like dead and it doesn't get the proper. I mean, it gets some sunlight, but it's just not the. I don't know. It's not the proper lighting, I guess, okay. for the grass. Well, then you need. Grow. You definitely need some shade, some shade lighting there. So shade plants. Yeah, yeah we definitely want to do that. I want to put a. Uh, I always used to say pergola, but when I started watching the show Lucas Landscapes or whatever, he does those really fancy pools with the awesome grottos. 
he calls them perg- pergolas. So I guess it's pergola. But I want to put one of those in the backyard. I'd like to put, you know, I mean, I'd love to put a pool back there, but it's super small. And I'm like, if I'm going to put a pool in my backyard, I'm going to have a house that has an actual big yard or a bigger, bigger yard. Because mine's be fun. a stamp. But, well, honestly, Jay, I got to tell you, I, I am seriously trying to get things put together because I would love to be able, because obviously finances always kind of dictate how it, how you can do certain things in your life, um, unfortunately, or a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I, should say. I would love to have a place um, south, down south, outside of New England where it never snows. I want to live with the land with palm trees. I want to be someplace <laughs> warm. I do. See, I can't do that. I, 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 Even though I can't stand winters around here, I just love our seasons and how they change and, uh, fly, yeah. you know, and the leaves that change color. And I just love that dramatic times, you know, between – you know, the tween seasons and stuff. And, I it is know. nice. You know, I get, I get sick of snow, too. Let me tell you, I get sick of our winters, too, especially when you have a long driveway to shovel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luckily, ours isn't um, too bad. <gasps> oh, I just got the best email ever. Oh, that's not right. exciting. So, you know the group Dead Can Dance? Um, I don't think so. Really? Oh, dude, awesome. honey, you need to hear, listen to Dead Can Dance. It's, it's, um, it's a very, it's hard for even, even to describe what kind of band they are. It's a duo. Um, it's, um, meditative. It's all, um, alternative. It's new age type of thing. Uh, I heard them, oh, God, it was a lot, probably, mm, at least 15, 20 years ago. So 48, yeah. I went into yeah. a Newbury Comics with a friend. And you know how those stores always playing something, right? So they're playing this really weird. And when I say weird, I mean it in a good way, not like, oh, my God. It's just, well, it yeah. was like, oh, my God, what's this? You know, like, I need to know who this is. And she told me, Dead Can Dance. And I was like, okay, first of all, the name rocks because I just love the name. And I bought a couple of their CDs, and I've been listening to them ever since. So I was supposed to go see them last month on the twenty. 20- Seven. Uh. So obviously, um, and they, but they never canceled. They, they said, you know, TBD, um, TBD, you know, um, postponed. And I got the email that it, it is still going to happen, but it's going to be next April, April nineteenth. And I'm so excited, super excited, because my friend Lucy and I are going, and this just Ooh. completely made me very. Because I really, I have wanted to see them. Since I started listening to them, I said, this is a group that I would definitely buy a ticket to go see. And when I found out, I was on my way to work one day. And uh, hold on, I'm taking this picture real quick. <laughs> um, my tickets are still valid for the new day, but I was I think, you know, looking at this I'm like, yes, they're still valid. I didn't have to get new tickets or anything. Driving down 95, going to work one day, and I happened to catch out of the corner of my eye. The billboards, you know how some of the billboards, they'll have, like, one thing, and then it'll change to something else, and then it'll change to something else. So I happen to catch, like, three seconds of Dead Can Dance Boston, and I'm like, oh, my God, what, what, when is that? When is that? (laughs) I looked it up, found out, and I I told my friend, I was like, hey, you want to go to this concert? Because I'm going alone if nobody wants to go. She was like, absolutely. So then all of this happened and I was like, Oh man. And I was so upset because I'm thinking, what if they just canceled the dates and I got my money back, which would be fine too, getting the money back. But I really, really just wanted to see them. You know, it was something I was really looking forward to. So I got the email. How long ago did I get it? Ooh, five minutes ago. I just happened to be in my Gmail. And I saw that and I was like, Oh, ticket master. And then I realized I saw the word rescheduled. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yay, this has been rescheduled, though. That's good. Yeah, so that I'm really happy about. I mean, a lot of things are going to be rescheduled. I was supposed to go to South Carolina in June. I'm probably going to hold off on that. I think what I'd like to do next year, if I can afford it, is take take um, a multi-state vacation. I want to visit some couple of cousins in Florida and then visit my friend Ooh. in South Carolina and maybe stop in North Carolina. Possibility. That'd be fun. Fun yeah. little trip. Do a little tour. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to do a little tour here. Passing yeah. through. 
Say yeah. hello. Doing a little, you know, doing a little tour of the, the coast. Just a few states, but I don't know. It depends, too, because, I mean, I need to have a job. <laughs> so that's true. That's going to definitely um, help well, out. Well, that's why I think I'm going to go camping this year. I think I'm going to try to go camping up north and do that. You don't need so much for a hotel and whatnot. And I can drive up there, so that works for me. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would really, you know, having all this time in the world, I would love to go camping, but I don't like going camping alone. So, I like to go with people and and depending on you know, the whole situation, but this would be the year to do weekends and and or during the week camping because you know, I have the time. <laughs> I know me too. My heavens is different being home at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Um so what was I going to say to you? Um, other than that, I am going to, um, when we get off the phone in a little bit, because I'm probably going to wrap it up around 2.30. I didn't realize you've been talking for over an hour. Oh, my God, that's crazy. But I am not surprised because this, <laughs> this is just what happens. And uh, I'm looking at all of these boxes, and I have to go upstairs. I, I'm cooking dinner tonight. We are making, I'm making my crock pot flank steak. I don't know if, Ooh. You, I don't know if you ever saw those pictures that I had cooked in the past. I have. I'm I have. Them. Yeah, you want to You can leave. You know how you can leave mine next to the curb, darling. <laughs> I'll come pick it up. A lot of people ask me about curbside, curbside service. I made stuffed clams yesterday. They were they were amazing. You know, I'm thinking you might have to go for that. This could be they an adventure are, too. You know, seriously, like those things. You know, and because a lot of people are like, oh, did you use fresh? And I was like, no, no, because I, I, if I was going to get fresh anything, I want to go to a specific place, and I'm not going to too many stores. So I, I did it with canned. Clams, but you know what? They were delicious with the canned clams. Ooh. And you know, I bought uh, it was like four cans of minced clams. I put I put them all in a big bowl with two cans of the juice with them, two or three, no, maybe three cans of juice in the bowl with them. And then I, I, don't know, I might have done all four. I'm not even sure. Anyway, I put in a skillet. I put some minced garlic in like a tablespoon of oil. Ooh. Threw the clams in. I mean, they're already, they're already cooked, so it's not like you have to, you're not like recooking them, but threw them in there, let them get sauteed a little bit here and there, and slowly added the clam juice. And then um, I added uh, some onion, the, the minced dry onions. I would use, I would have used fresh onion, but my mother is very um, sensitive to onions, so the, the dried, you know, like the, um, you know what I'm talking about. Not onion powder, but the you, you can get them in the spice section, but it's like... Um, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And they're just, they're just like freeze-dried or something like that. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Right. So I use some of that, and then um, cause that that's not so bad for her. And then I had everything... To add it. Ooh, what are you doing? Uh, I moved something. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie. I um, added some paprika, and I did chop up very, very, very small celery. Added a little bit. So some of the recipes I've seen, I because I looked at a boatload of them and I kind of morphed them all in my brain and then I did what I wanted. And then um, some had Parmesan cheese. So I put very little Parmesan cheese. Oh, so the good, and I'll tell you. And then my mom, we bought, you know, we buy bread obviously when I go food shopping, and this was um, a Santini bread and we made bread crumbs. Well, she made bread crumbs out of it. And so I used those and added them in. Oh my god. It, it was Ooh, cool. yum. And you, well, you saw those pictures, too. Um, I and it did. Was, it was really good. Very good. A little bit of butter. You had to put butter in it. Um, so of I had course. Today. Um, that was my first attempt, and I will be doing that a lot more moving forward. If I'm going to have a stuffed clam, I'm going to make it myself. Um, there you go. But the point I know, is, actually, I think, I, okay. I think tonight I might have to do, I think I might do meatballs or something like that. Put them in the crock pot and let them cook all day and... I don't yep. know if I'll have pasta or I'll just maybe have meatball tubs. Who knows? There you go. Yeah. I mean, I love the crock pot. The flank, the flank steak recipe, I got it off Pinterest. And um, it's basically oh my soy, God. Sauce. It's soy sauce, brown sugar, and garlic. That's it. Oh, my God. Yum. And then I, I sometimes add a little water to make more of the gravy. And then I marinate the steak for a few for a few hours. And then I throw it in the crock pot on low. So my mom threw it in at 130. It'll be ready by 5. But it almost tastes like... If you cut it a certain way and put it on skewers, it would taste like a really good teriyaki almost, but not quite teriyaki flavor because it's, you know, not a teriyaki oh, yeah. recipe. But it's, And then I used to once in a while, 
I did the same combination with uh, a pork tenderloin, and I added some hot chili oil. Oh, dude, so good. Dude, you're going to make yeah. me starve in here. For crying out loud, what are you trying to do to me? Starve you? Make you hungry? Is it it's working? Oh, my God, seriously. And I'm not Italian, so I can't cook like you, for crying out loud. <laughs> it's not fair. Okay. Well, I will definitely make you – I'll cook dinner. When, when we can hang out, we'll, we'll have dinner parties. I'll come over. We can cook. We can have cooking, you know, adventures. Oh, no, you're not getting away that easy. You're going to leave a pot out for me one of these days. <laughs> That's the only food. That's my job. All right. Who wants, you know, who wants Seriously, dinner? Make, enough. Make, a, make a huge batch and be like, here, I'm going to put a little plate aside <laughs> – no, excuse me, aside for you and come pick it up. It'll be $25. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, that works for me. Girl. Yeah. But I, I'll tell you, though, it's it's amazing that flank steak is really good. I almost prefer that over steak tips. Ooh. Yum. I sometimes have bad luck with steak tips, unless you get them at, like, a butcher boy, you know, or something like that. But, you know. Um, you know, mm, yes, Haverhill. Actually, no, Haverhill beef, ha- um, Haverhill beef has some really good steak. Yes, I've heard They're that, good. too. Mm, Actually, you know who I heard has the best steak is Pawtuckaway Tavern. Oh, you know, I haven't been there yet. I, I haven't either. I hmm. haven't either. Jeff, Jeff always said that that's like one of the best places, and they're they're known for their beef. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're known for their beef. <laughs> <laughs> they're known for their meat, huh? Hmm. <laughs> this sounds very attractive to me. I think I'm going to have to check out their beef. <laughs> uh, me too. Here, hold hold my beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, listen, tell you this some this summer at the Haver Beef, and I'm like, oh, yummy, woof. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness! And is it getting hot in here? It is certainly getting hot in here, baby. <laughs> oh my God. I miss you so much. <laughs> I miss you too, darling. I miss you too. I'm sure when this is, you know, when we can social distance and maybe we just still be six feet apart, we can still do that. But because I got a backyard and a, and a fire pit, you know, and we yeah, can still be so six feet apart if we needed to. Absolutely, we're mad. You know, absolutely, you know, if they, I, well, if they I, lighten up all this stuff. Hopefully, in a few weeks, you know, I'm hoping that they start seeing a real a real good decline. You know. Yeah, that'd uh, be very nice. That'd be nice. But yeah, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm gonna go upstairs and, and I'm gonna go check the meat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, uh, Amen, sister. <laughs> but you know, I would, you love, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to chat with you again sometime. So let's let's figure out another, you know, another week or two if you're around. We'll, um, you know, sure. hang out hang out during the week during the day because you know, you know, not a lot going on other than that. So yeah, why absolutely. not? Well, I should be around uh, absolutely. And, and you know, thank you so much for having me. You know, making, oh, uh, uh, making me do pleasure. this. Making you do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I just got to do it. <laughs> have to do it. Um, of course. Do it for you. But don't hang up. When I do um, wrap this up, I'll, you know, I'll have the recording stuff, but then we can chat for a couple minutes. But, um, yeah, no, thank you so much. And everybody out there, if you ever want to email me, april at thelilypadpodcast.com or thelilypadpodcast at gmail.com, Shoot me um, an email. Let's uh, get a call scheduled, and maybe we can chit-chat. So, Jay, thank you again for uh, hanging out with me this afternoon. It meant a lot, and uh, we'll be talking again. Absolutely. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, anytime. And we'll be seeing you on the lily pad. Just watch me
Watch me. 